Well, absolutely super winner to get us started as far as the PA is concerned. And Corentia lopes to victory. And Louis, I'm sure you, you came in here giving her a bit of a chance, but I am guarantee you don't think it was going to be that easy. No, definitely. I, you know, she had a chance in this race. Yeah. Um, Sharon did a couple of changes in the last start. She put um, a tongue tie um, and uh, cheek pieces, as you can see in the computer form. Yeah. Respiratory noise. Um, she still does, but um, it certainly did help. Um, she improved very much um, last time, big time, and she just got caught the last bit with experience as well. Yes. Um, today, she, she hopped out the pain smartly. She got there um, effortless. Uh, when I used the back to come back to me, she came back to me easy. Um, I let her go on top of the straight just so the gun catch was flat footed. And she actually just went, and when I got to the 600, I gave her more reins again. She went, and I asked her the 300. She quickened more, and I could hear it was too quiet. So <laughs> I, 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 had, I had to look. But look, it was like seven lengths clear. So yeah, she did it very easy. Um, really impressive. Um, this one actually gave me um, confidence that she, she will definitely train on. Yes. She'll be a nice filly for us to, to train. It certainly does look that way. Louis, hot day out there. Well done. Thank you. It's very hot. Um, just a big thanks to Sharon and Greg as well, yeah. the whole yard, the whole team. I um, just appreciate the support from all the owners. You can see everybody's here. Yeah. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Brilliant. Thank you. Sharon Cotson, trainer, is going to be next up and have a chat about her charge here, who has really come away to a super easy victory. And Sharon, I'm sure you guys must be really excited with that win. Um, yes, we are. We think we sorted her issues out. Um, as you see with her last improved run, um, I think she was getting her tongue over the bit and choking herself up. So we did put the tongue tie in the cheek pieces and she ran a very good run last run. And it's nice to see her follow through. And then uh, I'd just like to say a big thanks to the Buerta family. You know, they're supporters of my yard and it's always nice to have a winner for them. Certainly when everybody is on course as well. Except for Isaac Berg. Um, unfortunately, you know, he's from Johannesburg. So if he was here, we would have had the whole Tutti here. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, of course, to my husband Greg as well. You know, he also takes shares in a lot of horses and helps me a lot with the PR work in the stable. And uh, having the win makes it nice for everybody. It certainly does. Going forward, you've got a couple of horses that can be competitive today. Desert Chief, he's uh, seeming to find his form again, and he's on, on his way in some decent form. Angel of Athens and Wiley's Flame are two decent staying types who look to have claims. And then in a hard race, without a question, I'm sure, but very well in at the weights are Pearl Tiara and Strawberry Wine. Um, yes, I think I have a competitive string of runners today. Uh, those that you mentioned are all in with big chances. Yeah. And um, I'm hoping that we have a cracking day today. Well, we'll definitely be holding thumbs for you. Good start. Well done. Thank you. As mentioned, we've got a couple of owners on course. And coming in, we've got Mr. Arne Butter and, of course, Mr. Kotzen. Great to have you guys joining us here. And that was super exciting. Impressive. Yeah. It seems like Sharon's got, got the nick of those. Louis rode a brilliant race. Thanks to my partner, Greg. To Isaac Berg and Jowick. Thank yes. you very much. Most definitely, and uh, no, you spend plenty of time at the yard. And this filly really looks to have just got the confidence with the change of headgear. Yes, it is. You know, Nadine, she, she has got a breathing problem. So the, the tongue tie and the nose band helped. Uh, so we think we've sorted it out. You know, I must just say thanks to Isaac and, and Arne. Yeah. Uh, you know, when we bought her in Cape Town at the, the sales, uh, we were having lunch and this Karari walked in and nobody bid and nobody bid and we got it for one bid. So... You know, you can find some nice horses if you're patient. And uh, thank to Isak and, uh, and uh, Ane and Ben Boerte with Tani Mari and the whole family. They're all here. Thanks to them for all the support. And without the support from the rest of our yard, you know, without them we can't do anything. So thanks in these tough times. Thanks to everybody for digging deep in their pockets and uh, coming to the party. Well, it's a really hot day out there. So I'm sure you can guys can go upstairs and have a nice cold glass of champagne and celebration. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. Thank you. Very well done to everyone involved here in um, Carentia. She's come through a really, really smart winner. And this being the Skull Fundraiser Day today, next up we have the uh, sponsor here. Come on in and join us. Uh, that's Yvonne Roberts of Yvonne's Rescue Centre. Great to have you here this afternoon. And um, we're having a look here that you say the brochure, your brochure management is actively involved with animal rescue and you've chosen to highlight it here. Um, yes, uh, uh, brochure management, Puki, she always helps me with location work, yeah. the rural areas, the communities, and give me some advice on that. And also, she is one that gets us where we can do fundraising. So what do you do? We um, 
uplift the community by looking after the animals, helping them, dip de worm, um, treat ma mange, wounds. A lot of the things can be carried over to people. So the stuff that can be carried over to humans, your worms, your ticks and fleas, your, um, no, the, the, the worst thing is rabies and that. Course, so we yes. do the rabies campaigns there as well with the state vet. Um, we also uplift uh, the, the place with the kids educating. That's the main thing, uh, is doing education because a lot of it is ignorance. It's yeah. not that they don't want to look after, they don't know how. So we help them with that. And we always take some dog food with and some parcels for the kiddies that get donated by people. Uh, sometimes out of our own pockets. I've got a hubby that helps a lot with the um, buying of food and that for the animals, so yeah. And I suppose fundraising is an absolute necessity. It, I mean, you've got to raise, there must be so many expenses. Yes, we do. We've got 63 cats in our care that we have to look after, and there's your vet bills, it's your deworming and that, yeah. and then the outreaches, that's your car, it's your tires, it's your petrol, but um, we do boot sales. Yeah. I'm a bit of an artistic person, so I make <laughs> dog beds and I make Fantastic. dog toys yeah. and um, stuff, and I sell that at Dr. De Beer's place in, yes. in Mount Pleasant. And then also we do, like the Priory Fair, Yes. Um, the Wildlife Festival, uh, that's our main fundraising events that we do. But I make wooden stuff as well. Oh, brilliant. So, yeah. Well, the world definitely would not function without people and organizations such as yourself. So thank you very much and great to have you here today. It's my pleasure. Thank you. There you go. That is Yvonne Roberts of Vonnie's Rescue Center. Great to have them involved this afternoon. I'm sure you can hear everything that goes on behind the scenes. And yeah, the world is definitely a better place for people and organizations like them. So a heartfelt thanks to them. Once again, though, very well done to everyone involved in Corentia. She's come away showing the field a clean pair of heels to win first leg of the PA. Great.